If you've heard of biofilms, then you are probably really curious about how they affect your health and what you need to know about them. And if you haven't heard of biofilms before now, I'll describe what they are and why they are so important. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Wang and the founder and medical director of the IBS Treatment Center. We deal with biofilms in patients on a daily basis. And I think that they are a fascinating topic because they have such a huge impact on how you digest your food and on the symptoms of IBS. Biofilms refer to a way in which microorganisms organize themselves. And when I say the word microorganisms, I'm referring to both bacteria and yeast, which we often call candida. Now, when we think about bacteria or yeast, we often think of them as individual cells that need to be gobbled up and killed off, kind of like in a game of Pac-Man. And if you've ever studied bacteria or yeast in a lab, that's also the impression that you're given when you study them because we think of bacteria or yeast growing in a petri dish and they're just little dots in a petri dish or lines. Now, when you think of them that way, they are like individual cells growing next to each other and we just kill them off one at a time. And it's a relatively simple concept. And for example, you drop a little antibiotic bomb in there, right? Whether it's in the Petri dish or you take an antibiotic. And when you think of it that way, you, you think of it as killing them off individually, like one at a time. And that can be a natural antibiotic or a prescriptive antibiotic. It doesn't really matter. But that's kind of the, the image that we have. And that's simple. That's no problem. But that only works when bacteria or yeast are in the very early stages of their growth. In those very early stages, the bacteria and yeast are very susceptible to being killed off and they are much easier to treat. However, that changes over time. Over the course of months and years, those bacteria and those yeast begin to work together with other members of their kind and they form colonies and groups and they grow layer upon layer and they create exterior walls and they use other mechanisms to protect themselves from outside influences and outside enemies. So that isn't always a bad thing. For example, your good bacteria are doing exactly the same thing, right? They're building up biofilms in your digestive tract and even in other areas of your body and they're creating colonies and layers of protection that may be beneficial for you for your entire life and they help protect you from the bad guys, the bad bacteria. However, on the flip side, the bad guys are trying to do exactly the same thing. They're searching for territory to claim and they're trying to build biofilms of their own. And this can make it much more difficult to treat them than simply dropping in an antibiotic for a few days and making them all disappear. It can make it much more difficult for the antimicrobial agent that you're using to reach all of the bacteria, all of the yeast, and it can take much, much longer than you might imagine for that antibiotic agent or antimicrobial agent, whatever word you want to use, to, for that to work its way through the biofilms and to truly get the entire job done. Now, this can explain a variety of issues with treating bacteria or candida that have formed biofilms. For one, it's why a treatment that you've tried worked for a short time or only worked temporarily while you were taking it, but then you regressed once the treatment stopped. Now, it can also help explain why your problem keeps coming back every few months or weeks or whatever it is because you never really got the whole thing treated. So I hope that this was helpful for understanding a little bit about what a biofilm is and how it can impact your condition and your treatment progress. Now, if you need help with dealing with, you, with what you suspect is a biofilm, call us at the IBS Treatment Center and schedule an appointment because we work with people all over the US and the world via telemedicine and we would love to work with you too. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more valuable information about your digestive health.
Thank you for watching.